Hallo und willkommen zu den 11. Nuschlektionen. I just discovered a huge problem. I watched over my first and second lesson and I just discovered that I've never teached you some of the most important pronunciation rules. So that's the first thing I'll be talking about today. This first rule is very simple. Whenever there is an RS, SJ, SKJ or SK, it is the same as if you write uh, SH, like in the word shorts. Now this one here I need to, sp I need to speak a little bit about. Um, it's a bit tricky. It is pronounced like this. Shh. Many people who just speak English would not even notice the difference between sh and sh. Let me tell the crucial difference with this sentence. Kjære bestemor would mean dear grandma, but kjære bestemor would mean cut open your grandma, and we don't want that to happen. I, as a Norwegian, of course know how to pronounce it, but many videos on YouTube say that it's not important difference, you could just pronounce the sh sound as an sh sound. This is completely wrong and it is commonly known as a childish error. Now I'll just take this last one so we can move on. The G can sometimes in the start of a word be pronounced like J. Like in the place in Norwegian, Jailu, it written, it's written Geilu. The TJ can sometimes be pronounced like tsh, like in Åtjene, to make money. The rest of the sounds is just pronounced V, V and J. While I'm speaking to you, I'm speaking Bokmål, which is the dialect they speak around the Oslo areas. And uh, the reason I'm speaking this to you is because I want you to learn the most used dialect. But uh, this is not my original dialect. My original dialect is called Trøndersk, or... Well, I couldn't find an English tr translation, so I would just like to call it Trondovis. Now, I'm not going to teach you Trøndersk, but I just want to give an introduction to how different the Norwegian dialects can be. So, as you can see here, jeg would be a, dette would be herre, ikke would be ik, er would be e, and hvordan would be kossen in Trøndersk. Uh, these are just some of the major differences. As you can see here, if uh, if you're watching my videos, you would do pretty well in Östnorge, because I'm teaching you book more. Östnorge is Eastern Norway in Norwegian. Uh, in south in southern Norway or Sør-Norge, they speak Sørlandsk. In Western Norway or West Norge, they speak Nynorsk or Bergensk or Stavangersk. In Midt-Norge, they speak Trøndersk, just as I told you five seconds ago. And uh, in Nord-Norge, they speak Nord-Norsk. Yes, and uh, as I forgot to mention, Midt-Norge means Mid-Norway, mid and uh, Nord-Norge means Northern Norway. Here's just some expressions that you could use in sentences. If you want to say during something, you could just say i løpet av. I løpet av dagen. During the day. Det kommer an på. It depends on. Det kommer an på hvor mye det koster. It depends on how much it costs. Kunne du tenke deg? Would you mind? Kunne du tenke deg å låne meg avisen din? Would you mind borrowing me your newspaper? Salt, pepper, kniv, gaffel, ske, tallerken. Salt, pepper, kniv, gaffel, ske, tallerken. Å forstå, å fortelle, å si, å snakke, å konstruere. Å forstå, å fortelle, å si, å snakke, å konstruere. Jeg skal møte. 
Jeg mår ikke like I have to reach the bus. Jeg mår ikke bussen. Jeg kjenner noen. I know someone. Skal vi spise sammen? Shall we dine together? Ja, kommenter og gi tommel opp, eller så finner jeg ut hvor du bor. That's a nice message. Well, see you next time. Ha det bra. Please comment.